Well, the Eastern Shore Archery Association is a group that gets local archers involved in 3D archery. Well, while competing at different archery courses across Delmarva, the group recently participated in an event that was about much more than archery. This week, the ESAA is heading to the Tuckahoe Bowman's 3D course at Tuckahoe State Park. If you want to meet awesome people, this is the place to come because it's just an awesome group of people that come out and shoot. Like most 3D courses, this one has its own variety of 3D targets, a total of 30 for the archers to take aim. One unique feature of this course has to be the terrain, which adds its own degree of challenges to hitting the target. Uphill and downhill totally changes the trajectory of the arrow, so you've got to add and subtract yardage for the uphills and downhills. Of course, the ESAA is here to allow these archers to have a friendly competition, but they wouldn't be here today if not for a 16-year-old named Nathan. When we started this three years ago, Nathan wanted to do something a little bit different besides the five Ks and the table setups. What Nathan does is use all the proceeds from this archery tournament and all the other events he organizes to benefit children with cancer. And he just wanted to make a difference for the kids and the families in the hospital and be able to do things for them. So Nathan found it, Nathan Story Childhood Cancer Organization, and we took off from there. Nathan takes every cent of every dollar earned to DuPont Hospital for Children in Wilmington, Delaware, not only for research, but for the small things kids need that we may not always think about. Ice cream parties, pizza parties, anything to let the kids know why they're there, that somebody else is thinking of them, and there is an outside and there's hope. Unfortunately, Nathan can't be with us today. Nathan's in his third battle, now dealing with the second cancer caused by his prior chemo treatments. And so he is home on isolation, recovering from a bone marrow transplant for leukemia. Just to bring you up to speed, Nathan founded Nathan's Story during his second battle with bone cancer when he was just 11 years old and he founded it to benefit other children suffering from the disease. Nathan was diagnosed at nine years old with bone cancer, um, and he went through regular chemo treatments, and then he was doing really well, and he relapsed with the same thing, bone cancer, and it was in both of his lungs. And Nathan determined at that point, he knew his odds had changed a little bit and decided that it wasn't about him anymore, it was about all of the other children. Nathan's selflessness and bravery are characteristics not lost on the members of the ESAA. To go through what he's gone through and still have the courage to, to, to dig in deep and, and go farther with it. So what else can you say about it? He's an awesome kid. An awesome kid who has fought seemingly unwinnable battles to devote all his efforts to help other kids facing those same odds. And seeing Nathan come in being a childhood cancer fighter, survivor, fighter multiple times, it really does add a lot of hope. And he's able to sit down and encourage the kids. Being an avid hunter and fan of the tranquility that a day of shooting 3D in the woods brings, Nathan was a little down that he couldn't make it today. But his mom, Kim, knows how thankful he is that everyone still made it out to shoot. They love seeing the pictures because here's all these big, frustly, grilly guys, you know, that do all these outdoor events. I mean, we get women in here too, don't misunderstand me, but just to see them out here shooting for them and doing for them is just amazing. And just as amazing is Nathan's story. It's the story of a young man who has spent nearly half of his life fighting, not only for himself, but to give a little bit of hope to other children facing the same battles.